This evening, a Utah House committee advanced a resolution that declares racism a public health crisis in Utah. Fox 13's Lauren Steinbrecher explains why some didn't understand the link between race and health care at first, but why the medical community says it is indeed a real thing. Lauren. Yeah, Kelly and Bob, so a number of people from the medical community weighed in on this resolution today saying there is systemic racism when it comes to health care in our community. And they hope that this resolution is a start in an effort to fight that. Some had a hard time understanding it. As I read this, I was uncomfortable, I have to say. Racism as a public health crisis. I'm still having trouble wrapping my mind around that how it how racism could could be like COVID or, or or something like that but representative sandra holland says COVID 19 helped expose health inequities happening in our community i think it helped um, the conversation because people see data and data and numbers don't lie data explained by dr mike woodruff from intermountain health care we saw lower rates of testing in our black population. We saw higher rates of hospitalization for our Latinx population in communities. And we saw Native Hawaiian and Pacific Islanders die at a higher rate than white, white um, members of the community um, from COVID-19. And this is not genetics. It's widely accepted that this is evidence of systemic racism. So it's one of the things that I want to start looking at and I want to start addressing um, the health disparities in the community. How does one address that? The House Health and Human Services Committee unanimously decided HJR 13 is a start by declaring racism a moral and public health crisis and committing to action. I am excited to be committed as a legislator to this. Starting with the conversation, Representative Holland says, allows the state, the community, to work on solutions. You know, you can't solve a problem that you won't admit you have. And this states, we have an issue, we have a problem, we have a challenge in this state that we need to address, that we need to start having conversation about. Our Representative Hollins says that she now is looking forward to broader discussion of this in the House as it moves to the House floor. Now, if this ultimately does pass uh, this year, she said that this summer is when they would start work on those next steps. Live at the State Capitol, Lauren Steinbrecher, Fox 13 News, Utah.